Well, it's lunchtime. I've got my DJI Osmos Pocket and I'm headed out to the park. We're gonna do some testing on it. I did some morning shooting this morning with uh, running in the dark just to see how well the stabilization worked in the dark versus the GoPro. I really wanna see, uh, would I use this on a run? or is it more for getting out and doing vlogging and will I stick with my GoPro on my runs? Let's go find out. I just finished a four mile run. I ran over to Starbucks this morning. We're gonna go grab some coffee. driving in the car. There's quite a few shadows right now. One of the things, I'm recording in 4K60 and I just noticed that the uh, when I turn it into selfie mode, it pops up and says that uh, there is no face tracking in 4K. So if you want face tracking, you've got to run it in 1080p, which is kind of a bummer. We now have face tracking on and we're running in 1080p 60. But now you can see face tracking is on. Well, that's just a sample video. I wanted to get out and get a little test footage. Got some running this morning. It was in the dark, so we got some low light, which was real world for me. Uh, while I probably won't use this while running all the time, just because while it's a really good product, it feels nice and stable and high quality. The camera feels good and the gimbal feels good. It's just still not as hardy as my GoPro. I like to be able to take my GoPro, shove it in my hydration pack, pull it out, take a video, nice and easy. I know where the camera's pointed. Uh, the stabilization in that is really good in the GoPro Hero 7. Where this, I think the stabilization looked better while running, not enough that I would wanna switch out my GoPro for this, just because taking it in and out of the case while on a run, putting it back in the case, putting it back in my uh, hydration pack, that's too much. The GoPro works fine for running for me. But what I wanted this for was to be able to go out when I travel, when I'm uh, going to restaurants or going to uh, the store or with the family. Something that had better stabilization than my phone or even my camera carrying it around without taking a gimbal. And this is so small that it makes that really, really easy. And as far as I can tell, the couple of clips I've looked at, I think the quality looks good. The firmware that they just released yesterday the audio sounds much better than the audio clips I was seeing when it first was released. So far, I'm really happy with it. Let me know what you think. I'm not the best videographer when it comes to stabilizing. That's one of the reasons I wanted this. You know, a lot of times when I pan, you'll see me panning. I just, I'm not smooth. I try to be smooth. 
but without a gimbal, I'm not smooth. So it'll be really interesting to see how well this works in moving it around, hopefully smoothing out some of that judder that I naturally introduce when, when trying to do a pan. Let me know in the comments what you think. What do you think of the audio? I'm not going to uh, adjust the audio. I'm not going to adjust the color, anything. This is all just raw right off the camera. It's a mix of 4K60 and 1080p60. It doesn't appear that the face tracking works in 4K60. So anytime that you want the face tracking to work like it is now, you need to be in 1080p60, not 4K60. That's it. I hope you uh, hope this was helpful. I'm going to, I'll do some more footage with the GoPro and the Pocket, the Osmos Pocket. So that way you could see the difference between stabilization. I just haven't had time to do that, but uh, that'll be next.